Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 2. Last time, we began the cutscene here at Bowman's Place, spending the night. Uh, we also were lucky enough to steal from Opera and Reyna, the uh, two more important people to steal from in the, on this particular path with the characters I've recruited. If you have Ashton, you can steal, I think it's a shield sword, which has about 490 attack power, I think. And if you have Presses, you can get, I think it's an Ultra Punch or something like that. I think it's got like 600 attack power. It's really, really powerful. Very uh, worthwhile getting. If you're on Reyna's path, path blah, 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 then don't bother stealing from Claude uh, because you just get a long edge, which you can already buy and which I'm already equipped with. So yeah, don't worry about that. Anyway, um, also, if you came and did pickpocketing in the town before uh, all of these events, before uh, when Bowman was still in his store, you could actually come up here and steal from, uh, what's her name? Nine? Nine? Nin? I don't know how to pronounce that. But you can steal a promise ring from her, which is actually reasonably decent for someone like Reyna. But, one, I forgot. Two, we're going to get some way better stuff relatively shortly anyway, so don't worry about that. Now, once we've begun this cutscene, all we have to do is come back here and talk to Bowman. Now, on Claude's path, he's on the left side. Ray's path, he's on the right side. Uh, he says some embarrassing things about uh, Raina not realizing that uh, Claude is smitten with him, or with her, and that's pretty much it that happens on that path. I believe something similar happens if you don't choose to recruit uh, Bowman on Claude's path, but if you do want to recruit him, and if you're able to, meaning you don't already have presses, then it'll play out slightly differently. I'm not going to show both uh, paths just because it's really not that... Uh, not that interesting and it's not that long, so. We found something very interesting to work on, called the Sorcery Globe. It's the uh, quest we've been trying to work on since basically the start of the game. We keep getting distracted from it though. Tournaments and going to different towns to do other people's problems. Surprisingly, you know, the a lot of them don't really have like a big bearing on the plot at large. There's a lot of little mini side quests that are part of the main plot. Planning to go to L. I'm thinking now that I probably should have turned that into a bit and just put up L's image every time I did that or something like that, but maybe not. I don't know. I just think it would have been funny. Now that I did it a couple of times, I, every time I, I mention the name L in this game, I just think of that. <laughs> what do you mean? You need someone with, with expertise and knowledge. So we need an old man in our party. We see where you're going with this. He's 27. I'm older than this guy. He's not old. He's not experienced. <laughs> like me, he's probably just a big kid. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you want Bowman to join you because he's actually pretty good. It's rather interesting. I've seen people hate all over him, and I've seen people, you know, praise him to the ends of the earth. He's actually a pretty good character and very easy to use. That's that's my favorite part about him. Does good amount of damage and he's easy to use, easy to level up his skills. Uh, l even late in the game, he's really, he get, goes way over the top with his skills and he runs out of MP too fast, but you know, what can you do, right? I can always heal him outside of battle, so I'm not too worried about that. And of course, he's happy about it. And so am I. Well, well, if you recruit Bowman, she just runs the store. So I don't think it's, well, maybe it's difficult. I don't know. I haven't run a, an herb store or something like that. Why do you have so many beds in your house? It looks like they were all set up from the get-go. I don't know. At least we get a, kind of a little farewell uh, 
little scene between the two of them instead of like, oh, well, sh she'll understand, don't worry, and then they never talk about it again. Yeah, she'll take care of the shop and everything should be fine. We can always come back and buy stuff from her later on and do some private actions in town while we're at it. Aw, isn't it cute? Uh, there actually are a couple of private actions to do here. And then since we've recruited a new character, Bowman, uh, we will also have some other ones to do in a couple of other, other cities as well. Now, uh, to talk about pickpocketing a little bit more, if you decided not to recruit Bowman, he will be standing right here. You'll be able to steal Bray's knuckles from him, which are very important if you're on Reyna's path. If you're not on Reyna's path, it's nowhere near as important. But uh, it's important for a particular quest uh, that we can do, a little side quest. Mainly because the best weapon she has other than that is the Cestus, which has attack power of 140. This one, although it's fire elemental, increases her magic, her accuracy, and has an attack power of like 600. So, yeah, very worthwhile getting. Now, you can also steal an additional item from uh, his wife one time only. What's wrong with you? No courage? Everyone kind of like, really? <laughs> But yeah, you can steal another one-time item from uh, his wife. Uh, it's called an evening dress. I, what, I went off screen and recruited him a few different times in order to uh, get the right mix of uh, talents that I wanted with him. And I will talk about that in a moment. But uh, when I did that, I was able to get the evening dress as is. So even if I miss it uh, doing it on screen here, at least we'll be able to get it and show it off. It's not absolutely necessary. We're gonna get something very good or even better than it after the next dungeon or so, but um, it's up to you if you wanna try and restart. There's a lot of things to restart if you're not using an emulator uh, and not using save states here, you know, trying to get uh, the items to pickpocket from your characters for better weapons, uh, trying to get the items here and trying to get him with good talents. It's, uh, without save states, it'd be really difficult to get all of them. Uh, I would say the ones that are the most important are probably his talents followed by the weapons. And only slightly, because the weapons really are necessary, especially for a couple people. Um, if you had to choose, like, a couple people to get them for, Pressus, Ashton, and then Reyna. The other ones you can deal without because Opera's isn't that much better than what I already got for her. Claude's is the same and uh, Celine's doesn't matter at all. Anyway, so now we're heading back to Lacour. Should get some equipment too, which I guess they're not assuming that you uh, went right back in to buy the equipment that they have, but we do need to buy some more stuff for, um, uh, for Bowman there. I believe the shopkeep... Oh, maybe the shopkeepers aren't there right now. I can't remember. Probably should have bought some stuff for him ahead of time. Anyway, Bowman joins the party. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting pickpocketing to do in this town. Um, so, let's see. Did I get lucky? Yeah, so, like I was saying, it's one time only. If you didn't recruit Bowman, he'll be standing here and she'll be standing here. And this never seems to work for me, but uh, I got lucky enough the in the test run there. But, um, yeah, so if you decide to leave the screen here, let's get off the screen here, then she disappears, and you'll never be able to get that uh, item from her again. Uh, she will be back in here, and I think they uh, you can steal a ring of happiness from her now, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see what kind of uh, things I got for Bowman here. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's do that since I was able to get what I wanted from him this way. I only got one talent for him. Now, there's a specific reason for this. Over the course of the game, I showed which talents you want to get for which characters based on what I was going to do with them as far as item creation goes. 
I did that because I didn't want to go into having to learn and unlock talents at the very start of the game when we didn't even have access to doing most of it because it would have been too confusing. Ideally, you want to get your lead character dexterity and then everyone else either one or zero talents. Ideally, because every time you unlock a talent, you just get more skill points for free anyway. So now that we've finally shown off how to unlock them, I wanted to get as few as possible for Bowman because he only starts with 100 points and I want to get as many as possible, as many points as possible for him pretty much right now. There we go. So yeah, those are the important ones to get for every character right off the start. Perseverance, so that everything's cheaper. Danger Sense, so you get stamina back after battle. And Mental Science, to get more MP. Um, other things are good too. We'll go into more of them in, in a bit, which ones I'm going to get for them. But I will be uh, doing that kind of off-screen in between episodes, giving unlocking all of the talents that he has left. So I should be able to get, let's see... Originality, uh, sense of taste. I, I don't think he has a difficulty learning any of these. Uh, sense of design, dexterity. I don't think I'll be getting any of the writing ones yet, but I'll be getting rhythm and pitch. And yeah, that should be pretty much all the ones I'll be getting for him. So I should get, what, five of them? Two, three, yeah, about five of them for him. So that'll give him 500 more points right off the bat, which will be very helpful since... Uh, it doesn't really matter what you do with him by this point, since we've already unlocked most of the abilities I want to use anyway. So I'm going to work on copying with him, because you do want somebody to work on that on uh, Disc 1 before you get to Disc 2, because as soon as Disc 2 starts, you're going to want to start doing a lot of copying. But uh, anyway, now that we've done that, we've got... Oh, oh yeah, the uh, item that I got, I might as well show it off here. It's called the Evening Dress. That's what you can pickpocket from uh, his wife. And the reason why it's so good is because it has a hundred magic stat when nothing else at this point has anywhere close to that amount. So anyway, got that. The rune buckler that I got a number of episodes back, it has protection from paralysis, which is very good. More defense, more void, pretty much all she's going to use until like right at the end of the game, maybe. And what else? Oh yeah, we got the metal fangs, which give us 50 magic and 400 attack. Those are nice. Uh, we didn't get your item. Uh, the light box is what we got for her now, the one we stole from her at uh, Liqueur there. The Xbox is the one we stole from her in the last episode. It's only slightly better, but it doesn't have an elemental affinity, so that's helpful. He comes with absolute garbage for gear, considering he's supposed to be a fighter. So, I'm going to have to pick up some gear for him later. But in the meantime, we'll just give him the best stuff that uh, I have for now. Give you a might chain. And what else can I give you that's not garbage? Feed symbol? Sure. I'll be moving some things around like emerald rings and stuff like that uh, in a little bit. But let's just give him something so that he has something. Oh yeah, I should probably check out his specialties. Killer moves. He starts off with poison pills. Yeah, let's take everything else off. That's all he's using. <laughs> yeah, he has a number of abilities, most of which aren't particularly all that useful. Poison pills is like his ideal. Here, I'll, I'll throw on the other ones so that we can kind of see what the other stuff does. But as soon as we show them off, I will be uh, setting, up, uh, setting up poison pills and going straight from there. Now that we've done that, Let's do some private actions in the town. Town of Learning. Now, are they going to give us the one private action that has something to do with learning, or the one that teaches us a lesson? It looks like it's the one of learning. Um, is it this one? One of... There it is. Yeah, if you go into this one uh, and the uh, situation is right, meaning that you haven't triggered any other private actions, then Reyna will come in here on Claude's path. I found it. And we're just going to stand here waiting. Hello? Game? Can I move, please? 
All right. What's up? Yeah, what are you reading? Um, you've been standing there not even long enough to pick out a book, let alone be engrossed in it to the point of being unaware of everything else. Getting into college. Oh, she wants to go to college, does she? Okay, you're at a college. I don't think you need a book on it. You probably just ask somebody. Of course, they'll probably tell you to go look at a book or a pamphlet because they're too lazy to explain it 18,000 times to 18,000 different students, but... How could I possibly commute from Arlia to Lingua? I would suggest you would move for a while. I'm sure they got dorms somewhere around here. There's a light bulb. You could now. You'd still learn things if someone would just teach you. Makes sense. You don't, you, you think I'm not smart enough to play the role. My grades were pretty good in school. And now she's like, oh crap. Happy you offered. Sure you were. Professor Claude, no. That's not going to work out. He's not bright enough for that. In fact, I think if I remember, recall correctly, the anime plays him off as kind of a doofus. Uh, which doesn't really surprise me. And we got to fade to black or a wipe or something like that. This, ergo that. Interesting. I guess that's enough for today. No problem at all. Oh, okay, we're done. Okay. I had thought there was one... Oops, stop that. In here, too, but I guess I'm wrong. I just couldn't remember where the uh, the private action took place. But anyway, that's pretty much it for that one. There should be one more that we can do here. If we can eventually do this. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to Lacker Castle right away, or even next time for that matter, because we have private actions to do, and then we have item creation to do. Now, I could have just done a mass block of like, I don't know, five, six episodes of item creation all at once, but I decided to mix it up because doing it all right away, all at a time would be kind of annoying. Anyway, if you approach this uh, group of people here, look at these bargains. Anyone who reads will find their knowledge increase almost like magic. Become geniuses overnight. Um, no. How come I can't? I wonder why. <laughs> Probably because he's lying. Um, nothing good can come from a guy like this. <laughs> If you buy one, you get a random book. And I'll go into books either next time or the time after, uh, once we can item create ourselves. But basically, it's a random book. It, it doesn't matter. So, and yeah, I think you lose like 2,000 full. So, no, I'm, I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on something that's basically useless. But yeah, the, it brings in a few extra people if you want to pickpocket them. Um, Actually, can you pickpocket them? Because they all disappear after this. Yeah, as soon as they get off screen. Unfortunately, he's walking on his own. But if you go back, yeah, they're all gone for some reason. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all we can do while we're here. Uh, next time, we're going to head to Arlia, and I will meet you there. We'll have uh, some private actions with Bowman. And then I think there's one in Salva, and then a few in Hurley. 
Anyway, that's pretty much all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.